there's a lot of stuff that is yeah. open to interpretation. Yeah. This this particular coronavirus issue that we're dealing with right now seems to be a, a great uh, illuminator of that very fact. Is that there's so much data and there's there's so there's so much that's open to interpret. There's so many things because it's all happening in real time, right? And like particularly right now in California, we're in stage two tomorrow or Friday, two days from now. Stage two, retail stores opening up, things are changing. Like what, no one knows the correct process that needs to take place to save the most amount of lives, but yet ensure that our our, our culture and that our, our our economy survives. It's a lot of speculation and guessing, but yeah. if you go to certain places, they'll tell you. We know why, and we know this, and we know, uh it's hard. Yeah, I mean, I, in general, I think that's like we, we should be concerned about um, anything that's a massive infringement on our civil, liber civil liberties. So, well, I like what you said when you said that it should be a choice and that to require people to stay home, require people – to not go to mm -hmm. work, require and to to arrest people for trying to make a living, this all seems wrong, and I, th I think yes. it, it's a wrong approach. It's a, it's a your your, it's an infantilization of the society. That it, daddy's going to tell you what to do. Fundamentally, a violation of the Constitution. Yes, freedom of assembly, and, and it seems like at this point in time, particularly, our resources would be best served protecting the people that are at risk versus penalizing the people that are not at high risk 